You did very well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm. Let's go. And I'd give up forever to touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't want to go home right now and all I can taste is this moment And all I can breathe is your life And sooner or later it's over I just don't want to miss you tonight And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's be broken I just want you to know who I am I'm your man and I can't fight the tears that are coming or the moment the truth in your lies when everything feels like the movies Yeah, you played the dress and know your life And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think they know who I am When everything's meant to be broken I just want you to know I'm your man I want you to know I'm your man one tonight, huh? Yeah, I'm feeling it. More ways than one. What are you saying to me? Breaking up my beautiful uh, song for you? No, not the least bit. Not the least bit. That was a great decision to do that song tonight. And, um... Yeah, that's been in the rotation, Iris, by the Goo Goo Dolls. Um, I consider it their one-hit wonder, although a lot of people were into the Goo Goo Dolls, as as I remember, back in the days of MTV, John. Uh, yeah, they're a good band. They're absolutely a good band. But this was, yeah, this was a real good song. I guess it, it resonates. You know, some people might think it's overblown, maybe. Yeah, but it resonates. You can really feel it. You're feeling that shit. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Tommy! had that full moon treat you this time or how's Joni everything's good everything's great you your ace is right now Lena but we don't we'd like very much if you did a reading for us tonight okay I got the book of white eagle right here let me get on that for the home team you're okay Lena oh yeah you gotta you gotta use what you got use it or lose it baby yes Tom go to 71 I don't know why it's ringing a bell with me. All right, 71 for Tommy Terrific from the Book of White Eagle. Book of White Eagle. Walk in the world as a child of the light. You are spirit and you are immortal. You are a radiant being, a child of God. Live in your spirit and allow nothing to Bind or limit you. Amen. 
you know, Lena, you have a lot of unbidden. Uh, this is all of you guys are talking together, right? Yeah. I'm not stroking out. No. We we really communicate as one. You know, when Tom Tom is yeah, I know. You and Tom got that energy together, just like you and Baba Deer. Hey Bob, yeah. It's unbidden thoughts come at the most, you know, times when, th when great things are happening. And that's natural, you know. The world makes you feel that way. Mm-hmm. So you you can't even quite believe uh that things are going as well as they are, but they are, Lena. They are. All right. How you doing, Bob? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, every connection is another connection. Right. Yeah, Bob hooked us up with someone else now who's aware of us. You know, even if we do this, like, one per I swear to God, one person a week I'm happy with. Yeah, well, that's not good enough. Want to do Tommy's song? Yeah, I'll do it. One more small reading? Yeah. Book of White Eagle. Um, I am with you. Whatever ordeal lies before you, remember the Christ presence... For it will never leave you. It brings peace and courage. He is always with us. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our emissary here. Our connection to the divine, the God and Mother. And I, I'm, I'm having terrible thoughts right now. All right, well, do first a radio reading. All right. See, this is what, yeah. How do you think the little bots are doing, Lena? The little bots out there. A lot worse than you are with un, intrusive thoughts, you know. They're so soaked up in the technological uh, uh, current that it's, it's, you know, they can't break out. Yeah, right. That is frightening. Yeah. To them. It should be, and they should be changing their tune, but... Yes, John, I hear you. What's the song? On the... This is that. Is anybody out there? Does anybody care? Perfect song after that speech. Yeah. You know, your only hope is the belief and the knowledge of the mother and father. And Lena, I have crossed over to the other side as the song goes. And I am here with you now. And Lena, I'm not afraid. I, and I trust and love mother and father. And I understand how you feel a lot of the time. But I'm so here with you. I'm so here with you. Don't talk to me like that because I got to do a song now. <laughs> how did that one come up twice, I ask you? I don't know. I mean, that is just pathetic. Oh, John, I know. And you'll find a way to blame me for this. I know it. No, I'm not finding any way. Everything's nice. Everything's nice. I need a drink of water. Tommy, baby. Mm. It's so true, though. If there's if there's things like this kind of music in the, in the world, ultimately the universe must be a great, great place. Because this shit is good shit, man. And there's an awful lot of it. Oh, baby, don't it feel like him right now? Don't it feel like something for the dream? Yeah, I never know nothing quite like this. Don't it feel like night? Might never be again. Baby, we know better than to try to teach it. Oh, no, was it told me? Tell me about it like this. Cut me off. 
Deep breath. Uh, how does your leg feel? It's better. Yeah, you got to support that, that limb. All right. Mm. Oh, support that limb. Support that limb. I feel like it's another, the, the end of number nine, right? <laughs> Black magic. <laughs> support that limb. <laughs> well, Johnny, yeah, this is, it's all synchronicity, but show him the number nine. Uh, well, then it's back there. Um, it's got its. Uh, it's going to be on that wall. Um, we changed our mind. We're making something really, amazingly spectacular for the kitchen wall. But John wanted the two number nines facing each other. He wanted that one face. They're on polar, you know, sides of the room. There's something really fucking cool about that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Between all the crystals involved and all the shiny stuff, and it's too good. Yeah. It's totally great, Lena. I'm so proud of you. You're back into art. You're doing... You look at this. I love playing this tambourine. Just look at it. And Maisie's going to jump up here and, and wreck everything. Maybe she'll... Maybe she won't. She's going to like... She's going to knock that light down. No, she's not. Sit down, Maisie. Have a seat. You can be on camera. You can be the star. You are the star of this Hollywood movie. Mm-hmm. So that was good. Uh, waiting is the hardest part. And Tommy, you wanted to speak on that. Yeah. What the hell is that cat doing? I don't know. Shine a light on her face. Maybe she'll go away. No, she ain't gonna go away. She's mesmerized by it. Mesmerized. Due to red light. How do you know about the red light, Tom? How do you know about the... Eh, it's a good light. Get that on her. She looks like a devil cat. No, she doesn't. Maisie. Psst, psst, psst. See, it's not staying red. It can't because she's an angel. Yeah. I think. I don't know. She's pretty good though, right? The cat. Yeah. Just get rid of that light, Lena. She gets distracted easily, doesn't she, Lena? Yeah, she does. Keep talking about me. That's all. Anyway. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm nervous about all kinds of stuff, but I also feel good. But yeah, I'm uncomfortable. I hurt my leg. It hurts pretty bad. And I'm like worried about it. Like it's a real uh, Lena. Please. All right. Maggie. Maggie's crying for me. Maggie. She's left. She doesn't care. She she changed her mind. Mm. She changed her mind about caring, honey. Yeah. All right. So you want to do another song or a reading? I think we're more in this position to do a song, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I think we should do a more mellow one. I would, I would like that too. These are fun though. And it doesn't even matter. You know, I, I know what you're going to say, that it doesn't matter that we cut them off. But you know, we do plenty of them, each song. Hi, mom and dad. Hey, don't worry about bells. Stop twisting your body around so you're going to hurt yourself. All right. I haven't been twisting around as much. Do you notice? Yeah, because you can't. You stretch your body like it's a rubber band and something's going to snap here and there. All right. Thanks, honey. That makes me feel wonderful. All right. I, I want to really do a good one. All right. Uh, that's pretty wild if you want to do that one. Shit. All right. Where's the speaker? Did it fall? Whoa, that's loud. Well, we'll have to be loud, too. All right. Yeah, honey. You, right? You feeling it? Yeah. Where's the, uh, the thing? They have one, too. One of these, you mean? Yeah. Let me get used to this song first. Here we are. In a room full of strangers. Standing in the dark. Where your eyes couldn't see me. Here we go. I had to follow you Though you did not want me to That won't stop my loving you I can't stay away Oh, song is singing down Straight to the heart song Crazy, crazy town. Now, there are so many others. Yeah, 
baby Standing in the line Hello, where is that between? What happened? I don't know. That sucks, Lena. Oh, I, I, that was really going great, wasn't it? Yeah, but actually, they were all here to talk to you, is really what it is. So I don't know how much steam you feel like you have for the for Brothers Gib just to have a, a little talk, chat. Hi, Andy. I want to say I'm so pleased. When you did the song of mine the other day, I was... I was glowing. I'm still glowing. Oh, that was wonderful. It truly was. And I and I didn't I didn't make it a point to say that it was you, you particularly, Andy. But that's all right. Who are you saying? <laughs> what? Yeah. You're kidding. No. This is a mate. Can I say it? Yes, of course you can. Twin Flame announcement. Andy Gibbs, Twin Flame, is none other than, ring of the bell, Andy Gibbs, Twin Flame, <laughs> Olivia Newton-John. Yes. <laughs> I have such a surge right now going through me, and I feel like I, my hand hurts. I'm squeezing your hand, Lena. Your hand is okay. You sure? Yes, you're not dying. Yes, that's a. We haven't done a twin flame announcement in a while. You haven't bugged anybody. I haven't. You're doing so good with that, Lena. I, I am. I used to get up in everybody's business and ask them who their twin flames was. But we have also. Hi, but I'm getting better at it, and they come forward and let me know. So Tom Petty, Joni Mitchell, we've known that one for a while. Now, Andy Gibb and Olivia Newton-John, absolutely perfect twin flames. Perfect, perfect, and very close in proximity in this last incarnation. Yes, just was not to be. Not to be, really. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all very incredible how it works out. And you were just going to announce uh, Edie Beale and uh, Daniel Johnston. Yeah, another famous twin flame couple with us, Edie, Edie Beale of Grey Gardens and Daniel Johnston. And now my first inclination would have been to ask who Big Edie's twin flame is. But you know what, little Edie? Right. You don't care. Right. I really don't care who Big Edie's twin flame Because not everybody has one and she doesn't. See, that's crazy. No. And it doesn't mean she's a bad person or going anywhere bad. We're all, we'll all see each other again. But there are tears, my dear. There are tears. Tears is in T-I-E-R-S. Right. Something about tears makes me uncomfortable. And that what, that's what makes you a good queen. And a fair and beautiful queen. Those words coming from Edie Beale are really amazing. Because she's really a God-loving spirit. Mm -hmm. She is such a God-loving spirit. Edie, you remind me of a lot of Eugene Crow. Why is that? You, go, you look as look-alike. Yes. We, had that, we have that look. You're right. Mm-hmm. Edie Beale and my old boy. And Eugene has been coming through the last couple of days. How are you, um, boss? <laughs> All these men used to love when we, Lena used to call them all boss when, when she worked as a, as a uh, secretary. She always got a little chummy, you know, whether they liked it or not. Okay, boss. And they, they loved it, these guys. Did they? They loved it. Trust me on that. All right. Good to know everybody was... Uh... Was happy about that. Mm. Because, you know, it's important when you're working in an office situation, especially, that uh, you get a certain amount of, I don't know, something, John. Yeah. What you want, baby guy? What you need? Don't you know I got it? All I got to do. It's for a little respect, but come home. Hey, baby, when you get home. Give me that thing. Hey, mister. I ain't gonna do you wrong. No, when you're gone. I ain't gonna do you wrong. Cause I don't wanna. All I'm asking. For a little respect when you come home. Hey, hey, when you get home. Hi, Ray. Where, hi, yeah. where is it? 
sorry about that, Aretha. No, it's all right. Here's a great picture they have of Mama Aretha there on this karaoke. Great request, too. Get my mind off of things, baby. Woo-hoo, your kisses. They're sweeter than honey. And guess what? So is my money. All I want for you to do for me is give it to me, give it, 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 I sound like I'm patting myself on the back, and I am kind of, but I, I'm telling you, these spirits have come through. Yeah. Thanks, Lena. Thank you, honey. I know it's hard work. No, I'm all right. I'm going to, I'll be all right. And listen, yeah. It's dark, right? No, I see you. <laughs> I forgot what I was just going to say. Well, no, no. Um, shit. Yeah, you're worse than me. You're terrible. Uh, we're kind of fried. Oh, you were going to say, uh, right, that if there's great music like that in the universe and, you know, the, the spirits that are, are capable of creating this, this great um, energy and sound, you have to look at it as a really positive thing, right, mom and dad? Yeah, you're doing great. I wish you'd ring that bell. You just told me not to twist my body or just take the thing. Takes you five seconds. Mom's, fuck. Mom's a cunt on wheels. Yeah. We say that with so much love and affection. Dad, what's up? Yeah. I don't know. But you're going to have to do one more at least. All right. You got it. I have no idea what you're going to do. But you know what? Do a reading while you're figuring it out. All right. See, this is my job, right, honey? Yes. She's a priestess. A modern priestess. That is Lena. She is a modern priestess. Thanks, John. That's nice. Um, 71 also, Father? Yes, but you got to divide. All right, so third. Okay, got it. Okay, uh, from the I Ching, number 36. Darkness is descending. Uh, do you believe this, John? With the light d dimming light? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Bell. Sorry. Got to do it. Darkness descending. But let me tell you something. I'm going to counteract this before I even start it with a light, a bright light that stuck on my shirt and I ripped it. You did not rip it. I almost did. While the forces of darkness surround you, keep a low profile and stay safe at home. The sun setting on you with darkness spreading over the earth. You are a lantern glowing in your sanctuary. Your world is full of light. Amen. Amen. Really great, Lena. Powerful. Well, oh, thanks. I like it now. And Chris said to me tonight, I said, you know, I was like fretting and everything. And, and I, I just a little while ago, I said, well, I think I'm going to do a channel tonight because, you know, mm -hmm. I need to snap out of it. And every time I do it, I, it's good. I get juiced. It's good. Fuck. It's good fucking mojo. And it helps me. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll take that kind of crazy any day of the week. Thanks, honey, for fostering the idea that I might be insane. No, that's not what I'm... <laughs> that's not what I meant. All right, well, we're going to make me do this one. Hi, Roy. <laughs> of course, for Roy Orbison, there is just no way I would say no. You always said that I'd be back again. See you through the 
Like never before, you're not alone anymore. You always said that I would know someday, and just how it feels when you're. Walks away. I let you down. I let you go. Hey, I lost you. How was I to know? I'll see you through the rain. Over the heart. It hurts like never before. You're not alone anymore. I never knew I could feel this way. I never could see past yesterday. I feel it too, you're not alone I see you through the rain, every heartache and pain It hurts like never before, you're not alone Holy shit. You guys, everybody was in there, including Elvis Presley. Hi, Elvis. Hey. Our anniversary, our mutual anniversary is coming. Yeah. We have uh, August 16th, I was born and he died. Elvis Presley died on my 15th birthday. Mm. One in five being a numerological six, which was my life path number. Mm. I'm being encouraged to sit up straight and take deep breaths, lowering my shoulders so that they pull slightly against the base of my neck muscles and it feels great sit up straight and drop those shoulders really like you're holding weights your arms are being pulled down deep breaths turn the head from side to side with each breath inhale left exhale right Mm. Shoulder rolls, head rolls. Mm. That's John groaning when he feels my body being stretched. He go, go ahead, Tan, go to town. I'm sure you all just heard that though, right? We hear more than that. Hi, Freddie. <laughs> we hear more than that, Lena. Oh, shut up, Fred. He's a sex fiend. All right. <laughs> John, you just wanted Fred to come in to talk like that. There's absolutely nothing I can do about the way Fred talks, please. Really? Yeah. I want a reading. All right, Freddie. How are you doing, kid? Great. Everybody's just bumming around tonight, hanging around. It's funny. You gotta. You know what? He's picturing for me what it looks like in the outer realm when we do a channel. 
And what it looks like is like a big fancy ballroom that they're all in. But but kind of cafeteria style. And everybody's just fucking walking around looking great and like drinking whatever they're drinking, little apricot drinks or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You see it very clearly. Yeah. And they're like, oh, the channel's on. And they're just walking around in, in this room and fucking piping in. And it's like a fucking big deal when one of them gets through. But of course we have our regulars that really, you guys push a lot of people out of the way. I don't think that's really true, Lena. We let many get through. They just, they got to get better at it. Really? Yeah. Well, Shelly Winters is here. Yeah. What's up? Don't you make fun. I didn't make fun of you. The movie, Shelly. <laughs> Eliza, I'm sorry. I, sick of seeing people cast like dipshits for some reason. Here's the reading from Freddie Mercury. Yes, my, dar my darling. May I? Yes. The Whole Armor of God. From the Book of White Eagle. From your friend, Fast Freddie Mercury. Thanks, Fred. Hi, Sandy. Hey. She just does it because she can. Yeah, I know. She's really very decent. Yeah, she lays back. She gets in whenever the fuck she wants. And that's fine, Sandy. Uh, well, that's why early on when you really needed me, like the sisterhood of, you know, the traveling pants you were dealing with there. Yeah. Traveling pants. <clears throat> oh, Freddy. The whole armor of God. When you earnestly send out the thought of love and light, you surround yourself with light. As you give, you will receive. The light which you send forth from your heart not only dispels the material and erroneous thoughts of others, it also creates a protective shield around you. This is what is meant by the words. Put on the whole armor of God, for God is merciful and God is love. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you guys, you guys are very convincing. That's why I know there's got to be like a really good afterworld. But the thing about the the, the thing that's weird about it is, Lena, it's all becoming one world. It's it, it is already kind of. It's just the ascension levels, but you'll see. Oh, you're on this level, honey, with us. You're here, a hundred percent. But it's playing hell on you physically i know physiologically i should say i think i'm blowing this john i think you are too are you trying to give her a fucking heart attack when she doesn't already have one? Oh, and thanks god no no we're just kidding let's pick another song that i i can't you can and you will and i will that was great. Roy Orbison, man. Fucking the man. And El again, Elvis Presley. Great. Wonderful traveling Wil Wilbury song. I love the idea of that one, but I, I think we did it pretty recently. So I, I would, um, I would invite any other. That, my God, you people don't want much. <laughs> Let's face it, though, they these guys, they really do pick the the winners. Like, you, you, I'm like, oh, boy, now this. Big Babs fan. Does anybody realize that?
was too painful to remember. We're seven angels to forget. So it's the laughter. Well, we have it You're done. Yeah, yeah. You're going over you're going over the limit here. Alright, I feel crazy. Yeah. Praise be God and Mother. It's been a great reading and it's been a great channel. I'd like to do one more radio reading before we go. Okay. Sorry, Maisie. Shit. What is this, Harry Styles, right? Heaven, and that's the that's that romantic Harry Styles song. Hi, Harry. Mm. Yes, yes, Harry, you were you were with us early on in the very early channels. Our one of our star kids is Harry Styles, and he's he really lays back. He's he's such an evolved uh, light being. That guy. Mm. So we're just sending a big love to Harry Styles and feeling it as well. We will check and see what he's been up to though tonight, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm. Mm. Well, Harry, I did see you in that movie. You were great. Yeah, love you. Love you too. Really love you. <laughs> love all the kids. I think about them all the time. And I still can't believe they're mine. Well, they're yours and mine. I can't believe you're mine. Say that again. I can't believe you're mine. Say it one more time. I can't believe you're mine. Well, but I am. <laughs> 